And now to extra depth on the devastating fires that swept through Maui nearly two weeks ago. As the death toll continues to climb, El Paso's Red Cross chapter is now getting involved. ABC 7's Brianna Pettis introduces us to one volunteer looking to make a difference. She joins us live with this story. Brianna. Stephanie, after weeks of devastation in Hawaii, one local volunteer with the American Red Cross is now looking to get involved and help a community in need. It makes you feel good inside. It really makes you feel real good. I think uh, a lot of times that we forget that there's still a lot of good people out there. El Pasoan and Red Cross volunteer Humberto Beto Flores gets ready to head to Hawaii in the coming weeks to help with relief operations for those affected during the Maui wildfires. Destruction hits Lahaina, charred buildings and cars. Rubble remains where structures once stood. The country grieves with you, stands with you, and will do everything possible to help you recover. At least 114 people died in the fires, with that number expected to rise as about 850 people are still missing. Anytime you go into an area like that, there's fear because you don't know what you're going to find. Um, the Red Cross does a good job of preparing you, but until you get there, but you always have the fear of the unknown. Flores says he has responded to 11 volunteer missions, including Hurricane Ian last year. He says living in El Paso and seeing how a disaster can impact a community, he feels it's important to help. One of these days it may be us, which it's, you know, August the 3rd, a lot of people from the Red Cross came to help, both spiritually, uh, health, you know, but they send a lot of people over here as well. According to the American Red Cross, more than 380 trained disaster workers are on the ground working with partners to provide meals, disaster health and mental health services, as well as spiritual care to help families and individuals begin the recovery process. People that, you know, uh, for all their lives, they didn't really need any help, and now they need it, and it just breaks their heart to have to ask for it, but... That's what, you know, what we're here for. In the weeks and months ahead, the Red Cross does say that they will continue to be on the ground giving their support. And of course, if you would like to donate or join in their efforts, you can go ahead and click on this story at KVI.com. But for now, reporting in East El Paso, Brianna Perez, ABC7.